Doctor adopts triplets after mother dies in birth. Five years later, something amazing happened. Jenna Carter and Gary Lewis were the epitome of a loving couple. They had dreams as vast as the stars, their hearts filled with anticipation for a future bustling with the laughter and joy of many children. They pictured a house bursting with life, filled with the innocent pitter-patter of tiny feet and the harmonious cacophony of youthful laughter. But alas, dreams don't always mirror reality. Their radiant hopes were soon dimmed by the unyielding fact of infertility. Gary, a man of robust health and virility, was delivered the blow of a bleak diagnosis. He was infertile. The couple was left reeling, their dream of biological children shattering into a million pieces. Long hours were spent in sterile hospital rooms, seeking second opinions, enduring intrusive tests and consultations. Yet the answer remained the same. No biological offspring were possible. The news of Gary's infertility was a bitter pill to swallow. But it was not just the medical diagnosis that was painful, but the accompanying emotional distress. The realization that they would not be able to conceive naturally was like a punch to their collective gut, leaving them winded, their dreams of a large family seemingly slipping from their fingers like grains of sand. Despite the devastating news, Jenna proved to be the lighthouse in the storm. Her love for Gary was not diminished by this revelation. In fact, it was during this tumultuous period that she showcased an incredible resilience, a refusal to let their dream die. Her unwavering determination resonated strongly in her words, We will have a family one way or another. Jenna became the anchor of their stormy sea, her strength unwavering. Even in the face of adversity, her resolve to create a family never faltered. The idea of a family was not merely a biological connection for her. It was a bond of love, care, and mutual respect. While the news was heartbreaking, Jenna, with an unshakable resolve, turned her gaze towards adoption, fueled by an intrinsic maternal love that wasn't confined by blood relations. This shift in perspective opened up a new path for Jenna and Gary. She provided Gary with a sense of hope, pushing past their grief to focus on the potential joy adoption could bring. Their love story took an unexpected turn, yet Jenna's strength and determination were the guiding force that kept their shared dream of a family alive. Through it all, their relationship became a testament to unconditional love. Their journey showed that while they couldn't control their ability to conceive, they had control over how they reacted to it. Jenna and Gary, deeply entwined in love, decided to redefine their path to parenthood. They chose love over biology, nurturing over nature, and their narrative of resilience echoes with many couples facing similar struggles. Jenna Carter and Gary Lewis, despite the heartbreak of infertility, made a conscious choice to fill their lives with the laughter and joy of children by adopting. This decision was not merely a second option for them, but a purposeful, heartfelt decision to open their hearts and home to children in need of love and care. They soon welcomed two children into their lives, Jude and Thomas, becoming the devoted parents they had always dreamed of being. Jude and Thomas, though not biologically connected to Jenna and Gary, soon became the heartbeat of their family. Each child brought unique attributes, individual quirks, and separate joys that made the family unit diverse yet complete. Jenna and Gary's commitment to their children was unwavering and deeply loving, a testament to their belief that parenthood is more about care and affection than mere genetics. However, the path they chose did not come without its challenges. Societal pressure and scrutiny were their constant companions. The physical differences between the children and their parents became a subject of curiosity and, at times, unnecessary speculation. Jude's blue eyes sharply contrasted with Jenna and Gary's dark ones, and Thomas's mixed race features further amplified the curiosity of onlookers. But Jenna and Gary, rather than retreating in the face of these challenges, chose to face them head on. They responded to queries with patience and grace, explaining their situation with dignity and pride. They didn't see their family as different or less than, but instead unique and special. They educated those around them about adoption, promoting a broader understanding of what makes a family, not necessarily shared genetics, but shared love and respect. 
While society looked at Jude and Thomas's differing physical appearances as anomalies, Jenna and Gary cherished them as reminders of their unique family journey. To them, these differences were beautiful, something to be celebrated, not concealed. Each contrasting trait was a testament to their belief that families are built on love, not mere physical resemblances. Jenna and Gary ensured that Jude and Thomas always felt cherished, loved, and secure. They consistently reminded their children that they were not adopted children, but simply their children. They celebrated their individuality, encouraging them to be proud of who they were and where they came from. Jenna and Gary provided the children with a nurturing environment where they could grow and flourish, their love for the children evident in every interaction. Throughout their journey, Jenna and Gary displayed immense love and kindness, teaching their children and the world that families can be built in numerous ways. Their narrative was not a tale of infertility or adoption, but rather a story of unconditional love and resilience. They defied societal norms and expectations, creating a family bound not by genetics, but by deep, enduring love. The cycle of life continued for Jenna Carter and Gary Lewis as their adopted children, Jude and Thomas, blossomed into mature adults. They watched their children grow, sharing their triumphs, easing their sorrows, and ultimately preparing them for a life beyond the safety of their family home. The inevitable day came when Jude and Thomas spread their wings, leaving for college and embracing the path of self-discovery and independence. Their departure marked a new chapter for Jenna and Gary as their bustling household was replaced with a quiet emptiness that resonated within the once lively walls. Jenna, who had dedicated her life to nurturing her family, found herself yearning for the comforting chaos that was once their everyday norm. She longed for the melodic laughter of children, the carefree chatters, the innocent inquiries. The silence around her echoed with her longing for grandchildren, her heart aching for the love and connection that came with being a grandmother. She'd often find herself wandering through the empty rooms, a nostalgic sigh escaping her lips as she touched upon the remnants of their children's childhood. Her imagination began to fill the vacant spaces with the potential patter of tiny feet and the high-pitched laughter of grandchildren. She dreamt of days filled with warm cuddles, storybook readings, and backyard adventures, her heart fluttering with anticipation and longing. Jenna shared these thoughts with Gary, her eyes sparkling with the hopes of becoming a grandmother. Even in their empty nest, Jenna held on to her dream of a house teeming with life and filled with the joy of grandchildren. Little did she know, fate had a unique twist in store, ready to transform her dreams into reality in the most unexpected of ways. Unaware of what destiny had penned for them, Jenna and Gary navigated through this quiet phase of their lives, reminiscing their past while yearning for a future enriched with the echoes of childhood once again. Life seemed to have slowed down, but Jenna's dream of a family bustle was as potent as ever. The whispers of longing filled their home, setting the stage for a journey that neither Jenna nor Gary could have predicted. In the grand scheme of life, sometimes one's deepest yearnings are answered in the most unexpected ways. For Jenna, her longing for a lively home was about to be addressed, and the silence was soon to be replaced with a symphony of joyous chaos she so desired. Little did she know, her dream of being a grandmother was on the horizon, just waiting to be realized. One ordinary day, the serene silence enveloping Jenna Carter and Gary Lewis's home was punctuated by an unexpected visitor. Standing at their gate as a tall, handsome man in his fifties, radiating an aura of anticipation and nervousness. He introduced himself, claiming to be Gary's son from a prior relationship, shattering the calm with a revelation that echoed through the walls of their home. This man, the alleged prodigal son, presented himself as the love child of a young Gary and his high school sweetheart, Rose. Gary's expression reflected a myriad of emotions as he heard the name of his long-lost love, and his visage crumbled at the realization of the identity of the man standing before him. His past, it seemed, had chosen this moment to come knocking, bearing with it a torrent of emotions and a piece of his life that he hadn't known existed. Jenna watched this interaction unfold, her heart pounding with a mixture of shock, confusion, and disbelief. 
She adamantly denied the man's claims, staunchly defending her husband against what she perceived as an attempt to deceive them. To her, this was an imposter, a fraud looking to take advantage of her husband's kindness. However, the interaction triggered an unexpected confession from Gary that would alter their lives forever. In an act of unprecedented honesty, Gary confessed to Jenna that he had manipulated his infertility diagnosis. He revealed that he had asked the doctor to lie about the results of their infertility tests, directing the blame towards himself and away from Jenna, who was, in reality, unable to conceive. His love for Jenna had driven him to protect her from the guilt and pain that the truth would have inevitably caused. The confession stunned Jenna. For years, she had lived under the shadow of Gary's supposed infertility, blaming herself silently, wishing she could give him a biological child. Now she discovered that the man she had loved so deeply had carried this enormous secret, all to shield her from the painful truth. Their home, which moments ago had been tranquil and quiet, was now a whirlpool of revelation and emotion. Jenna grappled with feelings of betrayal, shock, and a strange sense of relief. All the years of silent guilt, the internal accusations, the self-blame, had been based on a lie. It was a heart-rending reality to digest, yet it served as a testament to Gary's love and protectiveness. This day marked a turning point in their lives. The appearance of Gary's son unearthed long-buried secrets, unveiling a side of Gary that Jenna hadn't known existed. His confession opened a Pandora's box of emotions, reframing their past and reshaping their future. Their love which had weathered the storms of infertility and societal scrutiny, has now faced with the challenge of forgiveness and acceptance, propelling them into an unforeseen chapter of their journey together. As Jenna Carter and Gary Lewis absorbed the shocking revelations, they found themselves standing on the precipice of a vastly different future than what they had imagined. Jenna, once blindsided by the seemingly unfounded accusations of the stranger at their doorstep, soon found her skepticism melting away in the warmth of Gary's heartfelt confession. Despite the storm of emotions that swirled within her, she recognized the deep love and concern that had driven Gary to bear such a heavy secret. It was a testament to the depths he was willing to dive for her, and in this realization, she found the strength to embrace the unexpected change in their lives. The stranger, who was no longer a stranger but a long-lost son, brought with him a much-needed touch of familial chaos that Jenna had always longed for. His own brood of six children was ready to embrace Jenna as their grandmother, infusing the household with youthful exuberance and uncontainable energy. Jenna's dream of a house bustling with the joyous noises of children and grandchildren had miraculously materialized, albeit in a way she had never envisioned. Their home, once echoing with the sounds of solitude, was now a symphony of laughter and chatter. It seemed with the spirit of the unexpected family they had acquired, an eclectic mix of children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Jenna found herself surrounded by the warmth of familial love she had yearned for all those years. The remarkable twist of fate revealed the immense capacity of Gary's love for Jenna. His protective nature had steered him to conceal a painful truth demonstrating the lengths he was willing to go to safeguard her happiness. And in this protective love, Jenna found the courage to forgive him, to accept their newfound family, and to embrace the joy that it brought into their lives. The arrival of their unexpected family served as a bittersweet reminder of their journey, a journey filled with challenges and heartbreak, but also marked by enduring love, resilience, and unexpected joy. Gary's profound love for Jenna had manifested in ways she could never have foreseen, and their family, though not born of them, was indeed a family formed out of the same love. The profound turn of events underscored the unpredictability of life and the tenacity of love. Gary and Jenna's tale proved that families are not merely born but also made, bonded not only by blood but by love and acceptance. It showcased the power of love to adapt, to forgive, and to embrace change. Their house, once a symbol of their unfulfilled dreams, was now the heart of a large loving family, pulsating with life, laughter, and love, exactly as Jenna had always imagined.